A reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountain, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks. He says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past. The rains are over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of pruning the vines has come, and the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove, in the glass of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you. Let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, and you are lovely. The word of the Lord. Amen. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp with the ten-stringed lyre. Chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with the shouts of gladness. Exalt you, just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. It's all just the Lord, sing to him in Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. It's all just the Lord, sing to him in Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O Emmanuel, our King and Giver of Law, come to save us, Lord our God. Blessed are you who believed, 
that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. For today as we gather, I didn't get beyond the first reading uh, because the Song of Songs is definitely the most erotic book in the Bible. The most erotic book in the Bible. And scripture scholars tell us that it's really just one long love poem of God's intense love for us. But not just intense love. It's a passion absolutely passion love and I found myself compelled by the final verse in my prayer this morning come let me see your face and hear your voice your voice is sweet and your face is lovely now for you men here that's too much you can change lovely to handsome. But that's what God is saying to us. Come, let me see your face and hear your voice. Because your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. I just spent the morning trying to allow myself to be the recipient of that invitation. And it's a prayer that filled me with tremendous gratitude. <coughs> tremendous gratitude. You know, it's not like God loves some people. God loves all people. And with that deep, deep, passionate, erotic love of the Song of Songs, if you've never read the book, I can't remember, I didn't look it up, but it's only about seven, eight chapters. So it's not a huge read. It's not like picking up Dostoevsky and reading the Brothers Karamazov or something like that. It's a very easy book to read. And it is filled with tremendous passion. And I think that's the point of God putting that in the scripture. It's not just that God loves us. God loves us with deep, complete, and total passion. That's worth being grateful for. 